Hello, thank you so much for watching. Before you do anything else, please hit the subscribe button down below uh, so you can stay tuned. So you can stay. Other reminders to let you know when I have new. Uh, hit subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay, well, anyway, uh, today we are going to learn about an artist uh, from Vienna. Well, he was born near Vienna, Austria, in the year 1862, and he died in the year 1918. And he painted one of one of my most favorite paintings, which is The Kiss. The artist is Gustav Klimt. Uh, so today we're going to try to do The Kiss. Actually, not the, we're not going to do the whole thing. The Kiss is a very intricate painting, and that would take hours and hours. So this is going to be like a quick little drawing. Um, it actually took him between 1907 and 1908 to make The Kiss. So obviously we cannot do that in just five or seven minutes. An interesting thing about Gustav Klimt, I think he fathered 14 children, which is, which is a lot, actually. Uh, another interesting fact is that they made a movie about one of his paintings, which is Adele Blockbauer. She's dressed in complete gold, and the movie is called Lady in Gold. It's a very interesting movie with Ryan Reynolds. I recommend you watch it. Uh, but we won't be doing this painting. Like I said, we're doing the kiss. And to start, we are going to begin with, I guess, the woman he's kissing. So we're going to start. Her eyes are closed, and she's sideways. So just two little smiles. Then the eyebrows above, the nose, little nostrils, and her lips. So then the next thing will be I, the guy's face. He's giving her a, a, a kiss, hence the name the kiss on the cheek. So this is his face. You can't really see his features, but then. You're going to angle this in so it gives the impression that that's his nose and then a line above that to make that his brow line and then go up. And then the next thing will be the top of his head that you see, which is not completely circular. I mean, it definitely has more sides. It has sides so within a circle, but it's kind of a circular shape. This is his forehead. His neck will be right here. But around his neck is her arm. Now you can come back here out of the neck, come all the way around, and bring this all the way to the bottom of the pacer. Now right before, this is like, I guess, where the neck would begin. So you add a line, and this will be the top line of his tunic. And now you can finish the hand here. And it's kind of curved kind of like this, so you don't see all fingers. We'll just add a couple of lines. Not a couple, four. It should be five. Four for five fingers. One, actually this line, one, two, three. I guess that's four. When you, I think I, might, I, think I missed that up. Maybe it's like this and you only need three lines. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're just practicing and you know, the fun thing about art is just creating not so much getting everything perfect. Imperfections are what make things beautiful in my opinion. So anyway, uh, her elbow is kind of up like this and to me it almost seems like she's resisting the kiss, like she doesn't want that kiss upon her. What do you think? Do you think she wanted to be kissed by this guy? So that will be like right here and then you just bring it down all the way to the bottom. This will be her dress. She's showing off her shoulder. It's off the shoulder, so you make a mark there. And then his hand is holding the back of her head. So come up here, four fingers, because you can't see the thumb. One, two, three, and four. And then you... This part right here will be her hair. And then all around her, there's like a little uh, area with, that has a lot of pattern. You can just add that. And then his hand is on her neck, so you can't really see her neck. Or all of his fingers, because they're hiding behind her sh shoulder. So we'll add two lines, and then one peeking out. And his hand is around her hand, something like this. So you see one finger, and then one on his hand. This is it, her chin. This is where his tunic comes 
down. And this horizontal line here, when, where he's like that, creates a break in this fabric. So there's a front, her arm, the arm sleeve. I think the best part about this painting is all the pattern that it has. So now we're going to repeat squares, rectangles. And you can do that based on your taste and how you want it to look. It doesn't have to look like mine or like Gustav's. So at this point, I would go ahead and just do that at your own pace. I'm going to add some swirls. Her arm is here and then goes underneath his sleeve. This is her elbow. And then within her dress, she also has a lot of designs. Hers are more circular, his are more rectangular. So you can make this dress however you would like, with different patterns if you would like, just whatever floats your boat. Gustav Klimt was a big deal in his time, and he inspired several artists, one of which is another artist I like, um, Egon Schiele, or Schiele. Unfortunately, he died at a very young age because of the flu, I believe. But anyway, there is some pattern. You can add more in this part right here, maybe some swirls. The majority of Gustav Klimt's paintings were very heavy in pattern. You know, a pattern is a repetition of shape, line, not line, the repetition of shape, line, or form. So I'm just going to repeat the swirls over and over. In the actual painting, he has like little leaves in his hair. She has little flowers in hers. And of course, the, the actual painting goes all the way down to the floor, and you can see like the part of where the grass is, where they're kneeling. But this is my version, uh, like Gustav Klimt the Kiss. Little speed sketch. Uh, I hope you like it. Uh, tell me in the comments what you think and what you would like for me to do next. Uh, please subscribe, like I said before, and share, comment, and watch all the other videos in my channel. Once again, thank you for watching. Adios y bye.